YouTubers. Today I wanna do something just as a documentary. So I got this letter which says that I need to update my software. Actually they need to update the software. Specifically uh, to improve monitoring of the high voltage battery while the vehicle is parked or in parking. That's what I understood. So I'm gonna start the vehicle. Check the voltage, 14.4, 14, 14.6, 5. Okay, now we're gonna check something just before they do the update. So setup, navigation, no, uh, we're gonna go uh, back to system info. That's gonna show you uh, what kind of uh, software do we have right now, firmware system info, right? And then we're gonna see did something changed and also uh, behaving of the vehicle, is it changed or not? That's all. That's about it. That's it, and then we're gonna see what's gonna happen with the, it's not into winter mode, when they finish the update. So again, system info, and then we're gonna compare this to when they finish the update. To see what kind of update they did. Okay, say it a bit. After a couple of hours, they're gonna give me a loaner and they're gonna do the update. New corner electric. And then we're gonna go into this guy here. We have appointment 10 o'clock and it's 10 o'clock. See how we go inside. Whoa! Look at that big door. I saw it. It's up. It's already been up. Okay, we got a new car, just a loaner. Let's check this guy here uh, okay system info it has a brand new map 1247 mine is 1147 and of course you're not gonna be able to compare directly models because this one is uh, it's not the uh, electric one but anyway yeah it's not bad Nice little car. So how it looks compared to Kona electric and Juke Nissan Juke. It's about the same height as Kona. It looks a little bit shorter than Kona. Nothing special. Mini plug. Yeah, it's a nice little car. Good. Now I will have to wait a couple of hours for them to update the software and then we're gonna be check what did they do, what kind of software did they update and is it working better or worse. Let's hope for better. There you go. After two days, wait time. Finally, it should be done. Let's see. First thing I want to check. Oh, first I want to take this and the keys and everything down. First thing I want to do is to hand sanitize. There you go. Ah, coronavirus and stuff, so you just want to make sure that everything's fine. Okay, 
Uh, let's do the checkup. Confirm. This thing still charges. 13 2, 13 1. Climate is off now. 13 2, see? So, the battery was low, not 14 2, but still good enough to start. Let's check the stuff. That's still winter mode. Setup. <coughs> Sorry about that. System info update 1147. We're gonna see if anything changed. This not, but this is MOP version. I hope this is different. Or this Canadian 288. Because I think that's the main upgrade. But I'm not sure. That's why I'm gonna compare. Now we saw that. I'm going to compare from previous recordings. Uh, they had the car for two days. I had the nice little car over there. Venue. It's working great. Uh, they sent me a message like, Ivan, sorry, uh, we have to keep the car overnight because one of the relays, I just talked to the technician and uh, one of the girl also confirmed that they, they, they've been waiting uh, for, the, for the second day to get that really because one of the two relays were full is what was faulty and uh, they had to fix it so it's not just the software update it was a it was a hardware and software update and we're gonna see how it works we're gonna start with how to hold and we're gonna check everything is it working nice and how it works but uh, I will have to drive now so See you in a bit. And I'm gonna make sure that I compare those two vid video footages and then see if the must be uh, showing that the system uh, software was updated. See you in a bit. There you go, took me a little bit more time, just wanted to make sure that everything is working like it should. How the hole is holding, see? If you, that's how it's supposed to be. If you press parking, it's gonna stop. And if you shut it down, yeah, it's gonna apply the brake. That happens if you have it uh, on the auto hold. But we're gonna do it again and check 12.7. Okay, 12.7. 14.1. 13.8. Uh huh, 13.7. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So it does feel a little bit lucky. But let's. Check one more time. Overall conclusion of the video is without checking anything else. So just uh, go back, back, driver assistance. That was my uh, lane safe, yeah, active lane keep assist. I want to talk about the, this guy here because that's very important for me. So lane keep assist is very good, is very good. I know uh, they did some update because I feel the update already. But even without checking the numbers, I see they did, they did something better because I was having for two days at a small venue gasoline engine 
uh, internal combustion engine and it it was having it's a 2020 2020 uh, model the brand new one it was uh, having only a thousand kilometers on on the on the other meter and at the like lane keep assist was active too and on on active like uh, settings and it was working great it, it didn't go like left or right too much it was starting from the middle of the lane correcting it so it didn't it didn't wander like left or right or whatever until it's kind of oh scary but it's very uh, like immediately works like grabs the the steering wheel immediately from the middle of the lane and and steers you nicely and it works down to 60 it starts for 64 kilometers an hour but you can drive it down to 60 and then if you drive below 60 and it starts this is different and now this my brand new not brand new obviously one year old 2019 uh, Kona uh, <coughs> ultimate drives exactly the same exactly same like the, the new one so that means they did change the modules and they did update the software uh, and it feels better that's the only thing I can say but by driving the car and hopefully they changed the, well, hopefully for sure I know I believe them they did change that the issue they they uh, the, the car had when it was parked for a couple of days it was parked for a couple of days then it starts to drain the battery let's see what's gonna happen later on because one time uh, uh, I had an accident two months ago and the car was for two months in repair in the body shop was sitting in front and after I got it two days after I got uh, empty uh, auxiliary battery extra one uh, outside the 12 volt one and I had to boost it I have video about that if you want to check but anyway it was quick and efficient but I couldn't start anything I couldn't open the door lock the door nothing 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 worked without that uh, extra uh, lead acid battery and I, I hope they, they fix that thing because they uh, they said that that's the main reason updating the software uh, so they can implement they uh, additionally uh, do the software especially when the vehicle is parked so the high voltage battery as they call it it's gonna moni be monitored more especially when the vehicle is parked and uh, that's about it that's it uh, I'm just glad here in Canada that uh, the Hyundai is extra. I don't know about the guys in the US, but in here uh, the, the guys are Canadian, uh, the Hyundai is really working uh, up to the customer services like a very good job and uh, keeping us updated and I, I'm proud of that. I'm really happy because uh, we guys have bought a lot of electrical car electric not electrical electric cars here in Canada especially in Quebec but here in Alberta too it's it's kind of booming especially now with this COVID and then extra low uh, bottom low I would say uh, oil prices and everything everybody wants to be green and environmental friendly and that that's a good job there you go on my phone okay let's do like this I have this and then now we're gonna check set up and system info that's right now yeah you cannot do it i understand that so that's the right now after the update and that's before the update before the update so what does it say Hmm. This shows exactly the same numbers, right? Exactly the same numbers. May 13th, May 14th. See? You can check and compare. So nothing changed directly, but basically uh, they say they changed the updated software and they changed the physical modules, which is good to me, but I cannot confirm it here by just going to the to, to, to the setup here uh, hmm system info whatever it's called that's kind of strange because I did feel the difference and I'm gonna check my batteries after I do believe they did some
change because I, I, I did uh, feel the change in the as I said previously in uh, that thing uh, what's called lane keep assist yeah we'll see well that's strange interesting interestingly enough uh, I didn't see the any difference in the numbers here after update but uh, let's hope let's see what the time is gonna show how the, the my auxiliary meter outside the monitor is right now 137 how it behaves I noticed the difference and I'm very happy because I know the difference between the the new one and this one in uh, how it works with the lane keep assist program on active setting and uh, let's see but the numbers didn't show up uh, I guess they did set up and they did update it uh, anyway I'll keep you up uh, posted and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do whatever I can in, <laughs> in order to monitor because they at at the end this is my investment uh, my wife's and, and uh, my mine too and we love electric car and we wanna make sure that the battery is gonna go up to 160,000 kilometers or eight years whatever comes first according to the Hyundai uh, dealership here in Calgary, Canada. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.